behind closed doors I'm a fool for your love Hi guys, another Geek123 here. So today I'm here to go through everything we know about the Batman movie that is meant to come out in 20, uh, 2021. This is also where you will hear my thoughts on the new casting, so here we go. So let's go all the way back to July 2015, when the movie was first announced. Yes, this movie was first announced all the way back then, before Batman v Superman was released. Ben Affleck, the now very controversial old Batman, was in talks to star. Jeff Johns was also in the talks to co-write with Ben and also direct the DCEU solo Batman film. Jumping to March 2016, Johns claimed that the Robin suit covered in graffiti in Batman v Superman would also have a connection to the movie's story and kept the Robin's identity a secret. Ben Affleck also gave co-CEO Patrick Whiteshell a written screenplay that he and John Drew it was also revealed that Ben Affleck were really wanted to direct in this movie as well. It was revealed that Kevin Tushura in April 2016 that the studio was moving ahead with the script but Affleck and Johns gave in. They also said that Affleck was allowed to start and direct. In May 2016, Jeremy Irons confirmed that he was tied into the Batman movie in some way, while saying that the story Affleck wrote takes elements from the comics while being an original story. In 2016, in August 2016, Jared Leto expressed how much he wanted his joke to appear in the movie. But in October, Affleck teased that the villain would be Deathstroke with test footage. Later, John threw that this was played by the OG Flash Thompson, Joe Mangalo. Sorry, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Who also appeared as the character in Justice League's post credit scene. Affleck also said that the title was The Batman, but it would change even though it hasn't changed in three whole years. It was also confirmed that filming would start in spring 2017. In December 2016, Warner Bros executive Greg Silverman said that the film was set to release in 2018, which has not happened. But around the same time, Ben Affleck said there was no longer a script and that he wasn't sure if he was going to direct anymore. He also said that he planned to shoot in LA to double Gotham City. This led to January 2017 when Affleck decided to sadly step down as director and become producer and remain the main actor. It was revealed in February 10th, 2017, Matt Reeves was in talks to replace Ben Affleck as director, but on the 17th it was reported that it never worked out. But again, all of a sudden, two weeks later, he actually signed to direct and co-produced the movie with Affleck. This also made the movie get pushed back in production in 2018 due to him working on War of the Planet of the Apes. It was also revealed that he would rewrite some parts of a new script, which got helped, which would help his visual mind as a director. Jumping to August 2nd, 2018, Reeves revealed that the movie would be a noir-driven story before the events of the current Batman in the DCEU but it won't be an origin story. He also said that the script was nearly finished and that he just needed to make a couple of tweaks. But then, this January, it was sadly announced that Affleck would no longer be Batman and created this tweet explaining that he would no longer that he would continue to support the Batman movie and said that the, a new young actor uh, that him and the rest of the team has now hi hired 
and he will do a brilliant job in the future as Batman. The movie was also scheduled to start filming around that about now. Finally to now in May 16th 2019, it was confirmed that Robert Pattinson was the young actor who would replace Ben Affleck and he's in the final talks. Yes, he has been in the controversial Twilight series, but he isn't a bad actor per se. He was just in a bad franchise, like, funnily enough, Ben Affleck was a good actor in this bad franchise for Batman. And to me, Robert looks very dedicated because he explained in many interviews by now that he has body anxiety and that he doesn't like going to the gym. But now Robert has all of a sudden been seen working out regularly and has impressively started to get a fairly buff body which is impressive for his anxiety and this gives me props and makes me want to support him and give him a chance as for Batman because honestly if you push all your anxieties and depression out of the way to do something you really love you deserve to be big in that way. Now guys that was my thoughts on the new Batman and basically all the news for like the past four years of the Batman movie that's been in production. The movie is meant to release in June 25th, 2021. Uh, like I think you can tell in some past videos, I am not a big fan of the DCEU, but I've been very impressed by Wonder Woman, which came out in 2017. I like the Shazam movie quite a lot, because it's changed directions in the franchise and it's really worked out. And honestly, in my opinion, the Joker, yes, is not a part of the DCEU, but that looks like a good DC movie as well. And I honestly think, again, that Robert will probably do a great job by his dedication to this movie. And that basically, it could actually carry on the very good future for the DCEU and the DC movies in total. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.